This is one of the more common lookalikes for giant hogweed. This is probably the most common one that we get calls about, and it turns out to be this plant here. So this would be purple stemmed angelica. There's no toxicity to this plant whatsoever. And right away when people call about hogweed, they see a large plant with a large flower. That's kind of what the message is. But as soon as you see this globular round seed head, you can discount giant hogweed right away. The leaves are different. These are a, this is a compound leaf. So it's more segregated or separated, I guess, than a split out, than a, a hogweed. The hogweed, this would be all one leaf here with maybe two um, lobes off to the side and then a couple more lobes here. So definitely the leaf is more different. This is more look like an ash leaf or a sumac or a walnut or something with a, a compound leaf, right? Then the third thing I look at is the stem and this is hairless, it's smooth right away it's not giant hogweed so but the biggest giveaway when someone is looking for hogweed or lookalikes would be this round or globular seed head as soon as you see that you can immediately you're safe no toxicity in this plant whatsoever some of the things i look for with this in this cow parsnip to differentiate it between giant hogweed is one the size of it it doesn't get much bigger around diameter wise or caliper wise than this. An inch maybe to two inches max I would think for cow parsnip as a and the stem. But one of the biggest things I look for is this flower head here, seed head. If you notice, if you look at the flower stalks, the seed stalks, there's less than 50. That's sort of the magic number for cow parsnip versus hogweed. The other thing is I look at the stem and the stem, although it does have hairs on it, it's, they're softer, they're finer hairs. There's little to no purple blotching on the stem. Giant hogweed is very heavy purple blotching all up the main stem. The other feature is the leaf. And only I can describe it is it's kind of an exaggerated, the terminal leaf here and then the lateral leaves there, right? So this is the leaflet. So why is it you're not touching it? Well, because the cow parsnip does have that toxic um, sap in it, similar to the giant hogweed. And this is the, the, what I'm referring to as the common hogweed, which is in the same family as giant hogweed and is one of the lookalikes. Although uh, we haven't seen a lot of it widespread, this particular area, we do have quite a, a good population of it and we're seeing it um, spread more and more. Uh, but this is, it's not giant hogweed. This is a lot smaller. There is a mature plant with a seed head just over there. This one has more of that separated uh, leaf. Um, more of a compound leaf. So it has your terminal leaf, one set, and then usually two sets of lateral leaves. It does have some hairs on the stem. Again, they're not as coarse as giant hogweed. Um, you can see the hairs down there and it does have purple on it. You can see down there, if you can get a close up, there will be purple hue on the stem and sometimes purple on the stem, generally along these four ribs that run along the stem. It's almost a square stem, this spondylum. 